Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I'm going to take a look at a very interesting engineering sample Core i9 CPU. This CPU is supposed to be an engineering sample of Core i9-9900. And today you can buy it from AliExpress for about 250 euros. That's why I'm going to compare it to a slightly cheaper Ryzen 5 3600, which costs around 200 euros. First, let's take a look at the hardware specification. Core i9-9900 QQBZ was tested with ASUS Prime Z370P motherboard. Ryzen 5 3600i have tested on Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard. For both CPUs I have used 32 gigs of RAM, 4 sticks, 8 GB each, G-Skill DDR4-3200 CL14. In both cases I have overclocked the RAM to DDR4-3400. ASUS Prime Z370P motherboard does not have option DDR4-3400, that's why I have used DDR4-3666. For the memory timings I have applied XMP profile, thus they were the same for the both systems and stayed at CL14. According to CPU-Z specification, Core i9-9900 QQBZ works at a frequency of 0.8 to 4.4 GHz. The same as its final version, it has 8 cores and 16 threads. Obviously, with motherboard on Z370 chipset, which supports overclocking, I have tried to overclock this CPU. Unfortunately, it has locked multiplier and it's not possible to overclock it. Moreover, even if I tried to lock all CPU cores at 4.4 GHz, this CPU completely ignores all those settings and works at its default configuration. Moreover, Core i9 QQBZ has power consumption limitation. Under ADA64 stress test, CPU was downclocking itself to 3.2 GHz. If CPU power consumption restrictions are disabled in the BIOS, CPU is staying at around 4.1 GHz. In general, in games I have seen it running at 4.1 to 4.2 GHz. Just a few times I have seen it clocking itself to 4.3 GHz, and I have never seen it clocking itself to 4.4 GHz. Thus, Core i9-9900 QQBZ and Ryzen 5 3600 work with very similar frequencies, around 4.1 GHz. All the other components in the tested systems were the same. NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition, Samsung 860 EVO 1TB SSD and Corsair HX 1000W power supply. Now it's time to take a look how Core i9-9900 QQBZ performs against Ryzen 5 3600 in games and productivity tasks, starting with the games first. In Battlefield 4 it's impossible to distinguish which CPU is used. The performance picture is identical. Ryzen 5 3600 is 1% faster, but this is well within margin of error. In Battlefield 5 though, two extra CPU cores of Core i9-9900 QQBZ gives it a slight advantage. Here it shows 24% better, 0.1% low FPS, 7% better, 1% low FPS and 5% better average FPS. Not a huge win, but still slightly better results with Core i9-9900 QQBZ compared to Ryzen 5 3600. CSGO or Counter-Strike Global Offensive One more game where performance between these two CPUs is identical. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Even though this game utilizes all CPU cores and it has slightly better average FPS with Core i9-9900 QQBZ, It's Ryzen 5 3600 which has significantly better 0.1% low FPS and 1% low FPS. I don't know how it happens, but I have tested and retested multiple times. Ryzen 5 3600 shows 16% better 0.1% low FPS, 5% better 1% low FPS and loses 2% on average FPS. Assassin's Creed Odyssey One more game which doesn't really see a difference between these two CPUs. Core i9-9900 QQBZ has slightly better maximum FPS values, also slightly better average FPS, but once again slightly losing in minimal FPS. Monster Hunter World Unfortunately, it's not the game that I enjoy playing, that's why I have stopped at the first place in the campaign where I can run around and do some tests. Here I supposed to hide in the bushes, but instead of hiding I decided to run circles around. Even though it's very limited test, we still can see that 1% and average FPS is identical between the two CPUs, but Ryzen 5 3600 is yet again significantly faster when it comes to 0.1% low FPS. 
as any other game, I have tested Monster Hunter World three times, and three times Ryzen 5 3600 was faster than Core i9 9900QQBZ. Shadow of the Tomb Raider This is a very CPU-intensive game, it is also very well optimized to utilize multiple CPU cores. Here, Core i9 9900QQBZ defeats Ryzen 5 3600. Minimal FPS is 10% better, average FPS is 8% better, and maximum FPS is 5% better. Not a huge win, but a significant one. Red Dead Redemption 2 This is also a very intensive game, it also prefers Intel over AMD. Nevertheless, Ryzen 5 3600, even though it has core count disadvantage, trails Core i9 9900 QQBZ insignificantly. Minimal FPS is just 6% worse, average FPS is just 3% worse, and maximum FPS is 1% better. Overall, the difference between the two CPUs is almost indistinguishable. F1 2019 One more game which does not see any difference between these two CPUs. Ryzen 5 3600 was slightly faster with minimal FPS and average FPS, while Core i9 9900QQBZ rendered slightly more maximum frames per second. GTA 5 Even though it's a very old game which favors Intel over AMD, performance between these two CPUs is almost identical. Ryzen 5 3600 even manages to render one extra frame. Ostrev this interesting Ukrainian game is utilizing only two CPU cores. Nevertheless, Core i9 9900QQBZ is able to defeat Ryzen 5 3600. On average, Core i9 9900QQBZ was 9% faster than Ryzen 5, 1% low FPS is 6% faster, and 0.1% low FPS is 3% faster. Astroneer, one more very not optimized game. Still, Ryzen 5 3600 is able to defeat Core i9 9900QQBZ. While 1% low FPS and average FPS are almost identical between the two CPUs, Ryzen 5 is just 5 and 3% faster, it's 0.1% low FPS which is showing the picture. Ryzen 5 3600 has 43 rendered frames, while Core i9 9900QQBZ renders only 35 FPS. It means that it was 23% slower. The last tester game is Dirt Rally 2. Once again, average FPS is identical between both of the CPUs, but 0.1% low and 1% low values are better with Ryzen 5 3600. It was 13 and 14% faster than Core i9 9900QQBZ. Overall performance between these two CPUs is almost identical. Now let's take a look at the combined result after testing 13 games. Performance of Core i9 9900QQBZ was taken as 100%, Ryzen 5 3600 values were calculated from there. On average, 8-core Core i9 9900QQBZ was just 1% faster than 6-core Ryzen 5 3600. What's more important is that Ryzen 5 3600 was 9% better in 0.1% low FPS in the games which do not have built-in benchmark. On the other hand, games which have built-in benchmark preferred Core i9 9900QQBZ. It was 4% faster by minimal FPS. If we combine these results, we will see that Core i9 9900QQBZ and Ryzen 5 3600 are basically indistinguishable when it comes to games. You also have to keep in mind that I have conducted my results with mighty RTX 2080 Ti and if you are using something like RTX 2060, 2070 or even 2080, or maybe something from AMD side like RX 5600 XT or 5700 XT, the difference between these two CPUs will be indistinguishable. Thus, my conclusion would be that if you are buying a gaming CPU, it does not worth it to pay extra 50 euros for Core i9 9900QQBZ and you would be much better with the Ryzen 5 3600, which comes completely new and cheaper. Still, not everyone is just playing games. Let's take a look if two extra cores of Core i9 9900QQBZ will give it a significant advantage in productivity tasks when compared to Ryzen 5 3600. CPU-Z benchmark shows the following. Single core performance is slightly better with the Ryzen 5 CPU, Multi-core performance lead is as expected taken by Core i9 9900QQBZ. Two extra CPU cores are making a difference. 
Cinebench R15 and R20 are demonstrating very similar results. Two extra CPU cores are giving advantage to Core i9-9900QQBZ and it defeats Ryzen 5 3600. It's interesting to see that outdated Cinebench R15 is showing very similar results between these two CPUs, more modern Cinebench R20 is showing a bigger gap between these two CPUs. 7-zip compression and decompression Even though Ryzen 5 3600 has just 6 cores compared to 8 cores of Core i9 engineering sample, it trails its competitor with insignificant margin. Nova Bench believes that Ryzen 5 3600 is a better CPU between these two. While V-Ray is able to utilize all CPU cores, and Core i9-9900QQBZ is able to render about 30% more rays when compared to Ryzen 5 3600. In other rendering tasks, 8-core Core i9-9900QQBZ also defeats Ryzen 5 3600. Here, pure number of CPU cores is very important. Corona 1.3 benchmark completed with Core i9 CPU in 1 minute 46 seconds, while Ryzen 5 3600 took 2 minutes 19 seconds. Blender with BMW 27 completed with Core i9 9900QQBZ in 3 minutes 3 seconds, with Ryzen 5 3600 in 3 minutes 55 seconds. Blender with Fishy Cat Scene completed with Core i9 in 4 minutes 50 seconds, with Ryzen 5 3600 in 5 minutes 48 seconds. And for the finish, let's take a look at the DaVinci Resolve and Handbrake performance. To test DaVinci Resolve, I have used Puget System DaVinci Resolve version 0.61 4K benchmark. Here, i9 QQBZ scores slightly better than Ryzen 5 3600. 962 points against 870 points. Handbrake video encoding, though, is completing slightly faster with Ryzen 5 3600 CPU. I have performed this benchmark a few times. Both CPUs are running at about the same frequency, around 4 4.1 GHz. All CPU cores are utilized, but Ryzen 5 3600 is managing to complete the operation slightly faster. It takes slightly less than 2000 seconds, while Core i9-9900QQBZ is consuming slightly more than 2000 seconds. And finally, let's take a look at the combined performance after all those benchmarks. On average, Ryzen 5 3600 lost 11% to Core i9-9900QQBZ in those productivity tasks. Honestly, I was expecting a bigger difference between these two CPUs, if you keep in mind that Ryzen 5 has just 6 CPU cores, while Core i9 has 8 CPU cores. Overall, I really liked Core i9 9900 QQBZ. Even though it's an engineering sample, this CPU does not have any flaws. The only problem I have with it is the price. Paying 250 euros for something which you can get with Ryzen 5 3600 for less than 200 euros makes zero sense. Still, if you really want to have this CPU, feel free to. 8 cores, 16 threads, 4.1, 4.2 GHz operating frequency, built-in video adapter, possibility to overclock your memory, everything comes with Core i9-9900 QQBZ for 250 euros. Personally, I would always pick Ryzen 5 3600 between these two CPUs. I think Core i9 has to drop to 150-180 euros to make any sense. Unfortunately, I do not have motherboards with a locked chipset such as B360 and B365 or H310 to validate if Core i9 9900 QQBZ will behave exactly the same as on the motherboard with the Z370 chipset. As I mentioned before, you need to disable CPU power consumption limitations to achieve this level of performance. With the default BIOS configuration means the CPU is power restricted, its frequency is dropping to 3.2 GHz. Thus, if you have such motherboards and you have such CPU or you have any kind of information, please let me know. For now though, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you have enjoyed it, goodbye.